Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tawny, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about a hair straightener that I have been using for a couple years now, and that is the GHG Platinum Plus Hair Straightener in the one inch width. I wanted to give you guys a quick little review on this hair tool, and also do a little bit of a tutorial on how I use it to curl my hair, which is the main way that I style my hair. If you enjoy this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you see more videos like this but without further ado let's get into the video all right so as you know from the title of this video I'm going to be reviewing this GHG platinum plus hair straightener in the one inch width I got this hair straightener a couple years ago now as a Christmas present from my lovely husband and I have been using it so much lately and I use it pretty much every weekend to style my hair so right now my hair is natural I washed it actually a couple days ago I just brushed it through and slept on it to dry it so this is my natural texture it's just a little bit wavy but usually what I like to do is I will style my hair just a little bit more with this to smooth out any frizz and give myself a little bit of a curl, especially in the front of my face. I like to curl my hair away from my face to just open to just open up the face a little bit more. So this hair straightener retails for $280 right now, but I got this hair straightener for a couple of reasons. Number one was that I knew it was really good at curling the hair because if you can see, this is actually curved on the edge. It's almost like a little semicircle, so that's important when you are curling your hair. This isn't on right now, but I will show you guys once I turn this on. That's really helpful to get rid of any kinks that happen when you curl the hair. Another thing that I love about this hair strainer is that it heats up super, super quick. So I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. There's an on button right here and I just turned it on and you'll hear a ding in a couple of seconds to let you know that it's fully heated and it goes up to 365 degrees, which is a very high temperature, but not too high. And you just heard it. That was it. It was only like 10 seconds and that's all it takes to turn this on and heat it up and it will actually start working on the hair. So I'm going to just demonstrate that it is actually hot already. I'm going to take a piece from the back to just do a fully straight piece right now. So you can see it does have a bit of a wave to it and I'm going to just straighten that out. You can kind of see some steam coming up and voila. What a nice looking straight silky silky piece and that took no time as you guys saw and again, I just turned this on. I did not preheat this before the video or anything like that. So that's how quick and easy it is to use this. Obviously, if you have a curlier hair texture than I do, you might have to pre-blow dry your hair to get it at least somewhat in this way so that it doesn't take too long to straighten. Or if you're gonna curl it, you kind of want it to at least be a little bit on the straighter or wavier end before going in with curls. But overall, for this hair straightener, I really love how smooth it is. And that's also really important for curling the hair so that the hair doesn't get stuck and crimped and kind of caught in the plates here and that ends up being really really painful now one drawback is that you can't actually control the temperature of this there's only one on and off button but i've never had an issue with it it seems to be working really well for my hair and i haven't really noticed too much damage to my hair so i think the temperature that they chose that 365 or 385 somewhere in that ballpark is probably a really good temperature for most people using this tool all right so now i'm going to show you guys how i use this to curl my hair and what i do is i just part my hair a little bit off center that's how i like to part my hair and then in the front i'll take some smaller pieces so that the curls are a little bit more defined and then in the back of my hair i kind of do larger pieces but for the front, like I said, I want to curl away from my face on both sides. And the technique that I do that, I'm a righty, so if I'm doing it on the left side of my face, I kind of go in from above and you'll see my four fingers are away from my head and my thumb is actually in front of my face. So that's the angle that I'm doing to curl away. And then I immediately flip it backwards and then do a little twisteroo 
and then just very slowly run it down the hair piece. You want to make sure to get the ends also so it gets a nice little curl and then voila you have such a cute little curl from that so obviously I'm not gonna keep it like this after I style my hair but you want to keep the curl intact as long as you can stand it so that it cools in this position I will say the curls don't stick very long on my hair but that's also because I have kind of fine hair that gets straight fairly quickly but of course you can always use some hairspray or you can even pin these up if you really wanted them to hold for a long time but I kind of like like the way that it falls over the couple of days that I style my hair with this usually the first day is a little bit more wavy and curly and then the second day it's more of a straighter blowout kind of look with still a little bit of shape and body at the end of the hair so let me do another piece for you guys and I'll typically do like three smaller pieces at the front of my face on either side so once again going in on this downward angle with my thumb right up against my face and then I will go in immediately twist it back and then run it down the shaft you don't want to go too fast you don't want to go and then I just like to curl it with my finger a little bit and then voila another curl so I'm gonna do one more piece up front and then I'm gonna move on to the other side because the other side is a little bit of a different technique since it's on the same side of my dominant arm but once again downward angle thumb close to the face and then flip back and then once it's the shaft is kind of straight down, I just pull the hair straightener down. And that is it. The smaller pieces you do, the more defined they will be, even with a more quick swipe through the hair. So that's why I like to do small pieces in the front. And I'm not gonna do the rest of my hair right now because I'm not going anywhere at the moment, but I will just show you when I kind of like brush it out and fluff it out, what it looks like. And it just has this really nice, soft, natural kind of curly wave to it. This will kind of fall down over the course of the day, but it's just a nice little blowout kind of look that I really, really love. So now I'll show you my right side of my face. And I do the same technique where I just take three smaller pieces in the front to get that tighter curl. And then the back, I'll do much larger sections just to kind of make it look a little bit more cohesive. But I don't honestly care that much about what the back of my hair looks like. So I'll take a small piece for you guys here. And the way that I do this side, since it's on the same side as my dominant arm, is a little different. So I go in actually from behind, whereas before, you know, it was kind of the opposite way. But this way, if I turn my head to the side, you'll see that the opening is actually coming from the back of my head. And I go in and kind of really quickly flip it up, like do this whole pivot thing but the strand is still kind of sticking out at the bottom. And I, and I just run that through. And again, it comes out to this really cute little curl. It will, like I said, fall as I run my fingers through it. But this is the shape that I really like to have. And I feel like it does a nice little framing of the face also. So let me show you guys again on another piece. I'm gonna just brush it out. This is the wet brush, by the way. I swear by this thing. So, so easy to brush hair. And then, going in with the hair straightener again from the back. And then I kind of do a quick little pivot. And then I run it down kind of away from my head, as you can see. And voila again I'd like to just help the curl form by twisting it but you can see 
it creates such a pretty little curl and I'm gonna do one more piece and then I'll fluff it out for you guys so you can see the whole look but if you watch really any of my other videos where my hair is not straight this is what I do pretty much every single weekend this is my hair look for when I go out to happy hours or to even a wedding any kind of event I will do this look and just keep running it through all the way to the end and and then just a cute little set of curls here. So I have not done the back of my hair. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I will show you guys what my hair looks like kind of already with just doing those front pieces. You can see there's already so much more shape and volume and body at the front of my hair. I love this kind of polished looking wave. I did have a little bit of natural wave, but I feel like especially when you curl the ends, it looks a lot more finished than just a natural kind of straight looking end. There's something about it that makes it look, in my opinion, more like a professional blowout than a natural drying hairstyle. There's nothing wrong with natural hair. I love natural hair. I wear my hair natural probably five to six days a week. I only style my hair once a week and I do it for the weekend and for you guys honestly when I'm filming but I just love this look I think it's still pretty natural right now it does have more body like I said because I just curled it but if I wanted it to stay this way I would just put a little bit of hairspray in it or even some dry shampoo can help to kind of make the hair shaft stick together a little bit but otherwise it also falls out really nicely and even though I'm creating a curl the fact that I'm using a hair straightener to run through the shaft is also really great for preventing frizz if you do have frizzier hair so that's another added benefit Fit. I think that my hair looks really shiny and beautiful every time I use this hair straightener and I didn't put any product in my hair I didn't put any oils or styling product. This is just all natural right after using the hair straightener So overall, I love this hair straightener if you couldn't tell already I know it's a little bit pricey, but I do think it is worth it if you have the money to spend on it It also has this little nice silicone thing to to close your hair straightener And also this is great if it's hot and you have to travel and just stick it in your bag right after you're done using it This can kind of protect everything else in your bag, which I really love but yeah, overall, I have nothing bad to say about this straightener. I have been using it and loving it for a couple years now, and I think it's a great purchase and definitely worth it. But that's all that I have for you guys in this video. Once again, if you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.